Hi everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today I want to go over an advanced DAX pattern or, 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 or concept around segmentation. Now, I went through this quite in detail in the latest Enterprise DNA Learning Summit. I will put a link below um, to register for that if you want to watch some replays. But uh, I want to break it out here. I want to actually showcase uh, just this particular technique because it's a really good one. It is it is a it is a technique that can be applied to many scenarios, and I feel really extracts um, very meaningful insight, or it it shows an insight in a much more meaningful way. So, what I've done, what I wanted to do was I wanted to group our customers. So I'll just expand this uh, this visualization. I wanted to group my customers, right? I wanted to group them by ranking. And I wanted to say, okay, so I want to look at my customer set and I want to say, is my customer, or where is my customer ranked? And then based on that ranking of a particular metric, based on that ranking, I want to group them. And I want to group them and say from rank one to 10, from rank 20 to one to 50, and then other. And so by doing this, you are able to I guess break out key clients or key products or, or or any key dimension and you can and then you can really drill into that sort of aspect of your data or at least showcase that that uh, aspect of your data in a much more effective way. Now, if you didn't have this, if you didn't have this, you sometimes your visualizations would look too busy. You wouldn't actually be able to extract any insight. And the way I can showcase this the best I feel is that if I don't actually have this legend inside of this visualization, so I'll just take that out. You'll see this is just, it's really just a jumble of uh, dots on a, on a, um, a, in, in a scatter chart. Whilst if you actually bring in that, diff that, that additional filter, you can actually then start to see patterns in your data. And that's why this technique is, is really, really powerful. Now, it's not easy. It's not easy because the, 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 the trick is that this is actually a dynamic calculation. So not only are we just rank, we're not just ranking our customers through a particular metric throughout the, you know, from the beginning of time, we're actually doing it for whatever selection we have. Any selection we make inside of our visualization, we're recalculating that ranking. So I could say change my uh, time frame, say I actually want to look at the first half of the year and then say I actually want to drill into a specific um, you know, element. So I want to actually look at my uh, my, the, my customers from my, my west region. And you'll see here that it actually dynamically updates. It goes and ranks internally all of the customers within that selection and then does that, uh, um, breaks it out into 1 to 20, 21 to 50 and so on and so forth. So that's why it's so powerful. And then not only that, once we create that rank, well, then we can actually then create a slicer out of it, and then we can drill into you know these specific customer groups really, really effectively. And that's why, uh, you know, that's this is where it becomes really, really powerful because this sort of uh, filter or selection that we're we're making on our visualization now, you know, for West and rank twenty-one to fifty, none of this actually uh, sits within any table or existing table from our core data model. It's, it wouldn't come from a database. It wouldn't come from anything. You 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 have to basically generate it. You have to generate these filters within your Power BI model and then implement the correct DAX formula. Okay, so enough of a sort of explanation around what we're trying to achieve here. Uh, and I'll go through the the, the, what, the technique that you have to use. Use it, okay? I won't, won't do it from scratch because I actually do uh, build it from scratch in the uh, during the learning, learning Summit session. So you can certainly review that in time if you want. But I'll just show you the technique. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to actually create these groups, okay? So you see here rank 1 to 20, 21 to 50, you need to somehow create these groups in a table. And the table that you need to, uh, or a table that you need to uh, create for this is, is something similar to this, okay? Where you actually have, you break out sort of rank 1 to 20 and then you've got um, the min levels and the max levels, right? And then so on and so forth, so on and so forth. Now, some of you might actually be thinking, well, how do I actually show each individual customer? I want to go one, two, three, four, five, and then other. You know, I actually get this uh, request a lot on the Enterprise DNA forum, support forum. And uh, it is exactly the same technique, exactly the same technique as what I'm actually showcasing here, okay? You would just change these elements into, uh, into that and in, into what I just described. It would probably just be a bigger table. But in this case, I've just kept it simple. I'm just showcasing three uh, different groups, right? 1 to 20, 20 to 50, and other. 
Okay, and that's all you've got to do. All you have to do is set, set up um, your table like this. It then becomes a supporting table. It is not integrated by via relationships to your model, right? It is going to be a uh, supporting table, or sometimes I call you secondary tables. We're going to run, we're going to, via DAX formula, we're going to run some logic through this table. We're going to run some logic through it, and then based on that evaluation, we're going to uh, uh, you know, get a result. And then, because we're running through logic through this table, we can then utilize the filters within this table to filter the result. Okay, so once we've done that, we then need to somehow write the logic that iterates through that table, okay? And that's where these uh, these segmentation patterns come in. Really, really powerful technique. Now, if we have a look at our ranking, right, our ranking is always going to be done on total sales. So just think that every time we go and rank based on any selection, we're going to rank based on total sales. But the output of the result is not actually sales. I actually want to output the result on other metrics. So that's pretty cool in itself. So what we're going to do is that we're going to calculate total profits but we're going to do it in a different context, okay? And that's and that's that's the key that's the key, I guess, DAX sort of theory behind it. We're going to create a different context within Calculate, uh, and and again, that is uh, based on this logic we're going to iterate through in that supporting table. So what we're going to do is uh, for each different customer, and that's where this values function comes in. For each different customer, we are going to evaluate. If that customer's, that individual customer's ranking, we are going to uh, evaluate is that ranking above the min rank or below the max rank. So you visualize that table in the back of your mind. We're, we're running logic through it. For every single customer, we are going to evaluate, well, is their um, sales ranking above the min rank or the max rank right we're going to do that for every single customer now if that customer evaluates to true right then we're going to return total profits okay now let's have a look at the margins ones and the margins uh, segmentation you'll see that this again is exactly the same it is exactly the same technique all, all i've done literally all i've done is subbed in the profit margin here we have evaluated via this filter function through every single customer, and then we have said, well, are they, based on their sales, above the min rank or below the max rank? And if they are, then that evaluates to true, and then that returns the profit margin value. Now, how does it break it out into these different segments? Now, the key thing to note here is that this customer groups table this is the name of that table we created now this customer groups table is now being filtered inside of this visualization because it's in our legend and so what it will do it was it will only ever showcase or it will only ever return particular customers that sit within one of these groups and that's why we then only get results for that particular group for every single filter so look, there's a little bit there, look I know, and and uh, this is going to be uh, understood by every single person who watches this video immediately, but it is it is very doable, that's all, all I would say. If you can walk through, like walk through each individual element here and, and, and logically think about what sort of uh, evaluation we are doing over this customer groups table, I'm very confident that you would you will get it, you will understand it. And then that's it, that's it. So basically, once we create these, uh, these segmentation uh, formulas, right, that logic will then be applied dynamically. And dynamically, by, I mean that that logic is applied every time you make a selection, any selection. You can actually multi-select now within these visuals, right? So I could say Midwest wholesale sales. And again, that evaluation is happening within that selection. We're ranking our customers uh, one to whatever, how many, you know, whatever our size of our customer base is. We're ranking them from, um, you know, the, the, and, and then we're, we're ranking them, then we're segmenting them, uh, and then we're returning the result that we asked for, say profits or margins, etc. Okay, so what am I doing? I might round it off there. This video has gone on um, for 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 a little bit um, uh, longer than usual, but you know, there's a little bit to this technique, so it's not something you can explain very quickly. Um, uh, all I would suggest is, is review it, try and review it, try and implement this technique in your own model, 
and I think that um, you know you will learn you will learn a lot, right? You will learn a lot. Now I'll put a registration um, link down below. If you want to watch the replays a bit more detail around you know step by step how I, how I set this up, then you can certainly watch that. Um, certainly watch that that full workshop session ran for about 45 minutes uh, went over uh, lots of other techniques as well it was, a, it was an advanced session um, during the learning summit so highly highly recommend uh, having it or checking that out and yeah hopefully hopefully you can integrate this into your models that's um you know that's that, that's certainly what i would suggest doing you know if you want to understand how this actually sort of all fits in um, yeah, if you like the if you, you know, like the content and, and appreciate the content, uh, then then certainly throw the video a like. That would be great. Uh, and uh, also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV and putting out a lot of content. If you're learning Power BI and you want to learn how to practically apply Power BI really effectively in your reports, then certainly su subscribe. There'll be lots of content um, out next week, next month, um, you know, and for a long time yet, it's coming out on Power BI. Uh, so certainly want to get that into your hands as soon as it comes out. Okay, all the very best. Talk to you soon. Cheers.